Welcome back to another episode of Hand Built Studios. I'm Brendan. Um, to, today, I'm going to discuss about this uh, guitar. Uh, another guitar. Surprising, right? Um, a buddy of mine, it's not mine, not really mine just yet, but it's not mine. Okay, I'll just put it at that. Um, it'll be mine to work on. Of course, but it's not mine. Uh, a buddy of mine, he went around garage sale and thrift store and whatever. Um, he likes to go around, buy, purchase stuff, and um, he he can find he finds really cool stuff. You know, if it's like a vintage um, or like a collector's item, he could sell it for a lot more. And he's been. He's been doing pretty good so far, but, um, this guitar, however, um, he asked me to see if I can make this playable again, and, um, I was like, well, I have to look at, at it, see what it is, and see what kind of problem it has, and, uh, as far as my knowledge is, and just from the looks of it, it's, a uh, Esteban. I know what you're thinking. That's probably some of the worst acoustic guitars ever they existed. Yes, I know that now. I had been watching videos before I even made this. In fact, there was a dude, there was actually a dude named Esteban that is a Spanish guitar player. Very famous, I guess. Uh, likes to wear black clothes and a black hat. Always played an acoustic and semi-acoustic electric guitars. He's real. He's real good at it. He is. I mean, pretty pretty skillful. However, um, as far as like the build quality and like the you know everything else, the hardware, the the neck, the placement, and it I've. I've heard so many horror stories. I've seen so many, you know, guitar fails. It's just, ugh. And this is my first time experiencing this one as an Esteban. And, uh, you know, it kind of surprised me. Uh, the action on this, although I had about four strings on the darn thing, uh, the action was not bad. It wasn't. It was, you know, I could, I, I tuned it, tuned the what four strings it was on there. It wasn't that horrible. However, what made this thing pretty horrible was the tuning machines are just too loose. I just, it's, it's it, it's, it feels like it doesn't have a soul. It really doesn't. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm sorry, but it just feels like it doesn't have a soul when it was put together. Now, again, I'm going to give this thing a chance. And another th problem I have with it is if you can, here, I'll bring it right about here. You can see that the bridge is lifting up on it due to the tension on the strings. It, that is an indicator either it was tightened up way too much or that is some bad gluing so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to find a way to take that bridge off and then try to reset it and re-glue it now for the first time ever like, like, I haven't done anything quite like this, but I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make this guitar work again, make it playable, and then get an actual overall review on it. But so far, it's just ugh, disgusting so far. But maybe if I could fix it even a little bit better, it, it I can... I can be a little more satisfied but it's got dings scratches you know it's got amateur written all over it 
Of course, it is made for beginner guitar. So anyway, but... I mean, this thing, it's... It's a hot mess. That's all I can say. Anyway, then I'm going to make this as a part one of my series of... Can I make a guitar playable again? Or, I don't know, what do you... I'm thinking... I'm going to figure out what the title is for this video. Oh, I got it. I'm, like, uh... Shoot. I'm going brain dead here. Anyway, forget it. I'll figure out a name for it. Um, if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. Um... If you're new to the channel, check out my uh, short covers. Look at my uh, other reviews on my pedals and a couple amplifiers. You know, I got some pretty cool stuff. You know, I may still be a goofball, but, you know, at least I'm a honest goofball. I mean, gosh darn it. Uh, I hope you get to watch some of my other videos, too. You know, I do appreciate you guys. Thank you, and have a good night. Deuces.